You need to be a T4 grunt, because you will only do what people tell you to do. Are you happy? Sometimes. <laughs> I am not going to be easy on this young man. I'll take him golfing occasionally. Not anymore, you won't. <laughs> Sorry. My name is Chris. I'm 35 years old. I'm a full-time student and I have a year left with my undergraduate degree and I make about $12,000 a year. My name is Yen. I'm married to Chris. I'm currently an associate store manager and I make $35,000 a year. We're living with our parents-in-law at the moment because we, we still don't have that capability to be on our own. We actually met uh, online. My wife is from the Philippines. We got married in May of last year. Bill and I uh, said, son, don't worry about the plane fare, we'll look after the plane fare. Between the flights and the wedding, I would say it's probably about $10,000 that they've given us in total. An expensive year for us, but well worth it to get that daughter-in-law. Absolutely. <laughs> Yen is pregnant, so we are, we are going to be having a baby next year. In the Philippines, it's part of custom to live with family. It's nice enough being here and not having to pay rent and anything, but you want to be able to support for yourself and not having to depend upon other people. Teach me back in the Philippines, I always have to like contribute something because we're still paying our condominium where we live. I'm not able to send $300 a month, so I've just been practically sending $200. I would really like to go to dental school. You know, I can be working on it for myself, I can choose the hours that I want to work, and I'll be making the money that I wanted to make to be able to support a family when I have one. With a baby coming, like, you know, where are we going to get the money? He'll be of retiring age before he even has a job, <laughs> you know, if, if things go that way. When I start to think about it, it just worries me a lot. I really don't know if she's stressed out about it or if it affects her at all or if uh, she just leaves things with me. I don't want to stress him out. I know it hurts him that I'm stressed out and it hurts me too that he's stressed out. This month, I'll help this couple move from red to black. I've been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt, which is still a huge mystery for most folks. And it's the number one reason couples split up. So now, I'm making house calls. A perpetual student, Chris thinks he'll make it big if he ever finishes school. Once he does, he'll have to deal with a crushing combination of student loans and consumer debt. Meanwhile, these expected parents are living in the basement of his parents' home. Hello. Hello Hi. there. So where are the kids? <laughs> Good to meet you. Good to meet you. I'm Yen. Nice to meet you, Yen. Hi, Gail. I'm Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. Share this house with your parents? Yes. Yeah. You let them live here rent free? Yes. yes. OK, so I'm going to have a hunt around. So I understand you like very expensive food. I like uh, my organic foods. Yeah. It's a very expensive way to eat. Yeah. And this is Chris and Yen's room. It's very small. Ooh, nice swimming pool. <laughs> Who does the maintenance on the pool? My father does that. Who does the maintenance on the outside yard? Uh, my father does most of it, uh, but if he ever needs my help, then he'll ask me and then I'll help him out. Like, so we... he's a very cooperative lad, but you have to ask him. Yeah, <laughs> I knew that was kind of Chris, what do you do around the house? <laughs> I wanted to talk to you guys before I spoke with the kids. What I am looking for from you more than anything is that you are now willing to say it is time now for you to stand on your own two feet because all the kicking I do won't do a scrap of good if he can come running to you and say, Mommy, Mommy, I don't have the money to buy my child a new coat. What do you say? I go out and buy it. <laughs> See, and you can't, no. is my point. Our okay. contribution's already there. Jen is the only one that's working. You're not contributing substantially to the household and you have all the debt. You need to have some expectations of your husband, honey. You need to set the bar a little higher. You thought you were coming to more than you have come to? You didn't know there was $50,000 worth of debt. <clears throat> what makes you have a mindset that says it is okay to get married and have a baby when you can't put a roof over your own head? If you were anybody else, she was from a different culture and it was part of her culture to be independent. I kick your asses out of this basement so fast you wouldn't know what I did you. 
while you have been living here rent free, having no expenses except the food that you put in your mouth, why haven't you paid off the debt? It's been 10 years you've been carrying this debt around with you. When were you planning to get rid of it? After I graduated university. Then you plan to go on to post-grad work. So you are planning to add another $170,000 worth of debt to what you already had at 40 years old, start a career for the first time ever, pay off the debt. Who is going to support you all that time? Student loans. How would you ever pay that off? Hopefully I'd be a great dentist. Grow up. Sorry. It's okay. We need to deal with some of this stuff so we can get it out of the way and put it behind us. You need to understand how you got yourself into this mess and how you are the author of your own reality. You actually don't know what these numbers look like because you haven't been involved in the money at all. And mommy and daddy probably don't have any clue about the numbers either, right? Right. Mm -hmm. There is your $52,000 <laughs> worth of debt. Mm. What upset me the most was Seeing the amount of the debt. It was a shock to see that it was up at $52,000. <laughs> I'm like shocked, I'm like, what? <laughs> you have virtually no fixed expenses. You even thought you were spending more money than you made, because you showed me a deficit of almost $600 a month. Mm -hmm. But I found you were spending far more than that, because you're doing things like spending <clears throat> almost $500 a month on clothes. That, you mammy. I practically buy a dress every week. You're showing me about $400 a month in groceries. You shouldn't be, it's only two of you. What is more frightening is the fact that you're spending almost $3,000 a month in cash. That's twice what you make. When you can't make it to the end of the month, before you get to the end of the money, you simply go take a cash advance on a credit card. As if, miraculously, that's gonna solve the problem. Want to hazard a guess as to how much you're overspending by every month? 2000 3200 You're spending three times your income. And it's not surprising based on the fact that your income is so low. If you stay on this path, you would be heading to $330,000 worth of debt in five years with nothing to show for it. And if you add in the extra for school, you would get to almost $600,000 dollars worth of debt. Yeah, that's pretty, like, surreal for me. I don't even want to think about it. Are you prepared to do anything I ask in order for this not to be your new reality? Yes. Yes. Are you guys prepared to keep your hands out of your pockets? Definitely. Yes. Over the next few weeks, I'll give you a series of challenges to do. If you do, I'll give you up to $5,000 to help you pay down the debt. You don't do the challenges to my satisfaction, or you have the wrong attitude, <laughs> I'm not giving you the money. We're going to drag you to a new financial reality. We're going to develop a plan for the future, and we're going to rebalance your relationship with your parents. So the very next thing you're going to do for me, what do I want? Our credit cards and our debit cards. Very good. <laughs> Coming up, Yen finds her voice. No more organic. They're expensive. Come on, move on. Money, 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 money. Chris buys organic groceries. Yen buys shoes. These indulgences, plus an overseas wedding and going back to school, have translated into over $50,000 worth of debt. I'm actually 10 weeks pregnant right now, so that adds up to our worries. With a baby on the way, his mommy and daddy have to learn to cut the cord. She should not have to depend on his elderly parents to make sure she has a roof over her head. For the next month, this couple will learn to live on a strict cash budget. No more credit cards. They'll complete weekly challenges to tackle their money and relationship issues. And if they're willing to change, I'll reward them with thousands of dollars. No changes, no money. That's all of them. Gone. Gonna learn to live on cash. I'm cutting your spending by 77% from about $4,600 <coughs> to about $1,000. $1,000 a month, that's all you're going to have. You get $100 a week for food. No organic. <laughs> then you're gonna have $100 a week for transportation. You will have $25 a week for entertainment. This is one for you, Yen. 
$17.50 a week for clothing and gifts. <laughs> I think she'll still find a way to buy a dress for that. No, she will not, because you have a baby coming, right? Yes. Yeah. And $15 father. So this is where you get your first challenge. This is your budget booster challenge. We have to boost your budget because you are drowning in debt. <laughs> you have to make a minimum of $2,500 a month net. Okay. Because school has cost you so much money, and I don't really think you have any sense of the weight of that, I have for you two lovely backpacks packed with 52 pounds of textbooks. When people come up to you and say, why are you carrying around 52 pounds of textbooks? You can say, this is my debt from school. These are the mistakes that I've made that I am now paying my dues on. If there is any embarrassment that comes along with it, or, you know, it's, it's well-deserved by my part. And now this is why your folks are here. While you're living in their home, and they're not accepting any rent from you, you still owe them something, okay? I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> so from here on in, you two are responsible for the upkeep of this household. You'll do the grocery shopping, you'll do the cooking. That's how you compensate your parents. So what do you think of this challenge? Wonderful, absolutely <laughs> wonderful. I've opted to take all the weight of the textbook since all the debt is mine. So I'm giving her a free ride from carrying around any weight. I ordered potato salad and hot dogs, some melon sliced stuff, maybe some hamburger. How do we pass? Perfect. Dad, can you remind me to turn off the barbecue? Uh, no, that's your responsibility, son. You can remember to do it. I'm on vacation this week. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> it's been uh, very hard for my dad to sit back and allow me to do everything for him because now he has nothing to do. <laughs> Fill the bowl up quite heavily with the lettuce, and then I slice just about a third of that cucumber. How much are those? We only have $100. All right, we'll get the cheap eggs then. Get a cheap egg so I can get a frozen yogurt. Okay. You won't die. Twenty-three forty-five, please. See, that's not a lot. Why are you wearing that knapsack? Oh, the knapsack represents my debt, <laughs> so I have to carry it around to remind me to uh, pay off my debts as soon as possible. So what's it been like walking around with all that debt? Uh, it's hurting my back. <laughs> <laughs> so do you see how important it is that you get out of debt? It may not be physical in terms of the debt, but it's weighing on you, okay? You've got to get rid of the debt. Yeah, for sure. You had a question about the $2,500 I told you that you had to earn. You told us uh, when you showed us the screen that I was averaging $1,500 a month. I understood the $2,500 to mean extra over that between the two of us. Yen's income is actually $2,500 a month, and what I wanted you to do is get your income up to $2,500 a month. What I want you to do is I want you to be in this equally. Right. Which brings me to your challenge <laughs> for this week. Do you wonder why I made you meet me in the park? Turn around, look behind you. You're about to become parents. Yes. You're gonna spend a lot of time in places like this, but you're never gonna make it work if you don't have a plan. So this week's challenge is your future plan challenge. You have the whole world ahead of you and you have a lot of options, a lot of roads you can go down. But if you don't do some projecting in terms of where those roads are gonna take you, you're gonna find yourself lost. So you need to take into account all the options that you're facing. I wanna see very clear projections. <laughs> Coming up, tough choices. Money, 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 money. Chris is living the student's life of study and play in the basement of his parents' home. But he's not a carefree teenager. He's a 35-year-old man with a pregnant wife and a lot of debt. He will find a way to manipulate you. I know that my parents would be there uh, to help us out if there wasn't any money. What you're in essence doing here is committing financial suicide. Before I give them up to $5,000 to help pay down their debt, Chris and Yen have to come up with a plan for the future. Will it be dental school, teacher's college, or maybe getting a job? Teacher's college. Mat leave, I believe, is 55% of your net income, uh, approximately $1,283. I wanted to see Chris doing the research, but he's still making big assumptions. I went online and they said that you can assume that monthly baby expenses will be five to $600 a month. Let's say we'll put 255 away for savings. That leaves us $1,000 left a month for debt repayment. Sounds good, but what about the tuition fees for Teachers College? 
Uh, Chris going to work. Assuming that my starting salary would be $45,000, $230 for savings, $1,000 for, for debt repayment, repayment which leaves the last $1,000 for a uh, down payment on a house. I'm just being conservative, but in the next two years, you might be able to buy a house. No. What? So, dental school. That doesn't even really seem like an option now. And it's been your dream. and If teacher's college is an option and I can go golfing in the summertime, and that's a dream <laughs> of mine as well. <laughs> Once again, this boy has his head in the clouds. So I want to challenge you on some of your points, okay? You're alone for about $1,000 a month for debt repayment. Mm -hmm. So right now you have $52,000 worth of debt. Right. You're probably going to end up with at least $60,000 mm -hmm. when you're done. The interest alone will cost you about $500 a month. So you're really only putting $500 a month towards the principal. Mm. So that means it's going to take you 10 years. In that 10 years, there's no way you can buy a house because they're going to look at your existing debt and your income and go, you can't afford to take on any more debt. So you need to get rid of the debt faster than that. How many hours have, have you worked this week? Maybe... 40 for you. Yeah, so That's I'll probably what... be on track to make around $3,000. So overall, you're passing about 60% on this one. I thought 60% was a little low, you know, with trying to do all the other challenges at the same time, with working, cleaning the house, and doing other things. All right, so we come to the Relationship Rescue Challenge, which is, of course, why you are all here. <laughs> so you'll be working in teams. It'll be the young'uns against the old-timers. And your biggest challenge will be to not help them with the answers, because this is going to be a snap for you guys. You guys are going to have a little more work to do. How long will it take for Chris and his bonnie bride to find their way? 166 years. <laughs> <laughs>
I was afraid of hurting feelings. Yeah. But now that this All program open. has has opened up the box, I can breathe easily. Yes. You know what? I'm going to take a chance on you, okay? When I got here, even though you were living with your parents, you'd managed to run yourself into two thousand dollars into debt, and you were headed to like a half a million dollars worth of debt. Oh! I don't have a prognosis for you. I don't know what your income's going to be for the next while, because you have some variables in there with regard to going to school, again, going on maternity. So there's some variables in there. Right. I originally had a debt repayment plan that had you paying off $2,900 a month and being debt-free in 18 months. Mm -hmm. That may be too aggressive for you. So you want to know how you did? Definitely. <sighs> Today, I'm prepared to give you this. Wow, thank you. I was definitely a bit shocked that we didn't get the full five. Because he doesn't want failure. Yeah, like, I, I just, it makes me think that Gail didn't think that we were, like, 100% in the program. The experience that we had in this is, like, is more valuable than the money that she gave. Thank you. Now if you'll close your eyes, <laughs> I have something else for you. Okay, get open your eyes now. Oh. Wow. Because you're having a baby and you need a stroller. Oh. It's the backpack. One less thing. <laughs> you have a great support system here. Uh, don't take so much advantage of it that you wear them out. Room and board. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> <laughs>